Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what is now Hurricane Grace as well as Tropical Storm Henri, which is expected to become a hurricane. And so before I go into details... Okay, so guys, first of all, before I go into all the details with these systems, I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you. I woke up to a surprise this morning, uh, arriving at over 5k subscribers, which was my goal for this year, and I'm just truly happy, and I just want to say a big thank you to all of you. Without you, I wouldn't have reached this far. And so now let's go on to Hurricane Grace. So looking at the satellite imagery of it right now, we're seeing here that it is located in the northwestern Caribbean, moving away from the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Yesterday, Jamaica faced a beating from this tropical cyclone. You might have seen it in my previous video where videos showed what happened. There was a lot of flooding, a lot of roads were damaged, and fortunately so far we have not heard of any fatalities as a result of the storm, but it is now moving to Mexico as a hurricane and it is forecast to strengthen. So it's not looking very, very organized right now as a hurricane, but we might see it get in shape before it moves over land because once it does, it is expected to become a little bit more disorganized and probably weaken a bit because it will not be getting all that fuel that it needs in order to intensify. And so now let's go on to the National Hurricane Center's corn forecast for it. And so we're seeing here that Grace has sustained winds of 75 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the west-northwest at 15 miles per hour. And as of right now, the Cayman Islands is under a tropical storm warning and the most westerly side of Cuba is under a tropical storm watch. So that means that tropical storm-like conditions are possible probably late today going into tomorrow. And then we have parts of Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, being under a hurricane warning. So this extends for most of the eastern coastline of the peninsula and then most of the north and western is under a tropical storm warning and just south of the warning area over the eastern edge of the Yucatan. And so when the system moves over land, it is expected to weaken back to a tropical storm, but expected to re-intensify into a hurricane once it emerges over into the Bay of Campeche. So fortunately, as of right now, Grace is not expected to become a very strong tropical cyclone, but it is going to be bringing dangerous conditions regardless. Here in Jamaica, we saw some very, very devastating winds. We've seen the damage and it was just a tropical storm at that time. And now it is much stronger heading elsewhere and so if you're in any of the regions to be affected please take necessary precautions and stay safe as grace approaches and uh, it being in these highly favorable conditions can even enable more intensification than what is now expected but hopefully that is not the outcome with it and so afterwards it is expected to cross over into mainland mexico and then eventually weaken and become post-tropical by sunday and most likely it will emerge over into the eastern pacific afterwards and there might be a chance for it to redevelop over in the eastern pacific and even if it does most likely it will not be a threat to land and so now let's take a look at the model intensity guidance for grace so you're seeing tropical storm grace here because this uh, hasn't fully updated as yet but we're seeing here that we have quite a bit of available models most are expecting that it will remain as a hurricane but we have a few expecting that it could achieve cat 2 and even potentially category 3 status and once the system arrives at cat 3 it is now considered a major hurricane so I wouldn't say that it is likely at this point for it to become a major hurricane but I think it will definitely strengthen a bit more than it is now probably has sustained winds at maximum at around 90 or probably 100 miles per hour and that is still quite strong so again if you're in areas to be affected please take the necessary precautions and stay safe and so now let's move on to tropical storm Henri. so the system is located to the southwest of bermuda and it is strengthening and so it's looking quite compact right now nothing is really out there bugging the system and fortunately it's been out there as well it's not much of a threat to land aside from maybe Bermuda but it is not expected to affect the small islands so let's look at the cone forecast for it and so we see here that Henri has winds of 65 miles per hour and it is accelerating westward at 8 miles per hour and it is expected to intensify into a hurricane by Friday. So maybe late Friday we could have Henri becoming a hurricane well off the east coast of the US. So it is likely to move parallel to the east coast 
throughout early next week and eventually as it accelerates more north it is going to start weakening due to cooler waters because of course tropical cyclones need warmth and moisture to intensify so without all that and the opposite taking place then it is eventually going to be weakening and dissipating but it could be a threat to the most easterly side of canada so we want to watch it as we're going to be progressing into the early part of the new week and so taking a look at what is expected from our models here we're seeing that Henri is expected we have quite a bit available and most are expecting that it will become a hurricane and we have a few expecting the category 2 and also a few expecting major hurricane 1 going all the way up to being a category 4 and so I would think that a category 4 hurricane is quite unlikely at this point because it is going to be making that curve and again it is going to be accelerating into unfavorable conditions when it starts that northward track. And so let us take a look at current conditions that are persisting across the North Atlantic Basin. So first up, we have the ocean temperature map. And ocean temperatures are, of course, very, very conducive right now to support development, especially in the Gulf. So once Grace moves over into the Bay of Campeche into those very warm waters, it is likely to intensify further back into a hurricane. But it will likely not be strong because it is going to be moving quite quickly and going to be entering Mexico. So fortunately, it is not expected to be very strong mainly because of that reason and then as for Henri there are favorable ocean temperatures out there to enable it to intensify at that point when it is going to be accelerated more th more northward then it is going to be in less and less favorable conditions and so now let's move on to the wind shear map and so we're seeing here that all the different colors here mean different shear intensities when we have the greens that means favorable shear the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable and so we're seeing unfavorable shear starting to set into portions of the caribbean so it's really the western section of the caribbean that is uh, in a region of favorable shear right now but we have grays being in that favorable shear so that is going to enable it to intensify but once we have the unfavorable shear taken over then we won't see much strengthening of the system but grace is going to be in favorable shear for most of the time it has left in the caribbean and then it is going to be moving over into the gulf of mexico where we're also seeing some favorable shear and then as for Henri, there is a region of unfavorable shear setting into the northern portion of the system but as time goes by things could become more and more favorable to enable it to intensify into a hurricane so much intensification is not imminently expected and so now let us move on finally to the saharan dust map so we have some saharan dust starting to extend across portions of the caribbean and so it is moving in from out in the atlantic and so it is starting to affect portions of the eastern caribbean and it is making its way westward so if the system starts to get embedded into grace then it is going to cause grace to not become very strong strong because it is dry air and there's not going to be any moisture and tropical cyclones are dependent on moisture so without that we won't have much intensification taking place so we do see some unfavorable conditions coming in behind grace but it is really going to be racing out the caribbean and into the gulf so much of these conditions are not going to be too impactful on the system as it makes its way out and so that is it for this update video on the tropics and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and i will keep giving updates as time goes by